the McGann has turned 21. And while Renault South Africa aren't exactly having a party this very minute at Red Star Raceway, they have chosen the occasion to launch the fourth generation McGann. It's a car that hasn't always managed to live up to the hype of its competition, the Forks Fargan Golf. But then again, not many cars have. But Renault are hoping that with a lineup of new engines, some refreshed styling, and some top tech, that they're going to upset the hatch apple cart. The full lineup comprises a 1.2 and a 1.6 turbo engine and a 1.6 naturally aspirated option, all petrol powered with manual or dual clutch gearboxes. The tech I alluded to is rather impressive for a car in this class, but you don't even have to get to that to realize that the new McGann should have people taking notice of it straight away. This car's competition are all good looking machines, but they're also carefully considered. Stylish without being too adventurous. The McGann hasn't bothered with any of that, and it's decided to stand out by making sure its styling makes a solid impact. It looks like nothing else on the road, and it works. This car manages a sophistication that just isn't matched by anything in its class. It hasn't relied on clever tricks that only car designers understand. The bold front and rear lights are very obvious elements that help deliver an instant impression, and one that should help it stand out for a long time to come. Our test car is the flagship GT, which includes the 18-inch alloy wheels and the full LED headlights as standard. It packs a 1600 turbo with 151 kilowatts and 280 newton meters, and the initial impression is that it is punchy and strong and not very surprising, because let's be honest, Renault have been building good turbo motors for a few decades now. But the GT also features a dual clutch gearbox, and that's a technology that the company is a lot less familiar with. And to be honest, my first dealings with their dual clutch efforts were not that convincing. That effort was in the Clio RS, and I can't tell you how happy I am to say that the dual clutch gearbox in the Megane GT is light years ahead of that one. Changing the clutch plates from a dry to a wet setup has made this gearbox slicker and more responsive and generally a much more impressive thing to operate. Together with a good motor, it delivers a drive that can be a lot of fun, especially when the car has some space to play. One thing that Renault are very proud of, in particular with the new McGann, is a thing called four control, which sounds a bit like an all-wheel drive system. But like the styling, Renault have decided to do things a little bit differently. And rather than relying on four-wheel drive for extra traction and stability, they've chosen to rely on four-wheel steering. It's the first time a car in this class features such a thing, and it's standard on this GT model. It works in a fairly subtle way to make quite a big difference. Depending on the car's speed, it'll either turn in the same direction as the front wheels for more stability, or in the opposite direction for better maneuverability at low speed. There is a button you can push to get the best out of it, and it calls up selectable driving modes. Now that's not an uncommon thing these days, but Renault being Renault haven't simply called their system a uh, sport mode, they've called it multi-sense, and it really does change the entire mood of the car. More than just tweaking the throttle and the gear shifts for quicker responses, in RS mode, the multi-sense system will change the interior lighting to an angry red and replace the ordinary looking instrumentation for a more race car inspired one. Similarly, it can adjust the mood to one that's a little more calming. It does sound a bit gimmicky, but actually it's a small part of a much more impressive whole. From an everyday driving point of view, this interior is an absolute highlight because they've managed to combine good comfort and style with top tech, like this tablet-style interface that not only looks good, but works brilliantly. The R-Link 2 system is a very smartphone-inspired setup and includes the ability to customize screens. It even has an app store. As well as being a very nice-looking setup, the Megane GT is a very comfortable space with good head and legroom for rear passengers as well. At 450,000 Rand, the new Renault Megane is more expensive than the top-of-the-range Opel Astra and Peugeot 308, but it's not too far off the more performance-oriented Golf GTI. But it does offer great style, a comfortable drive, and tech that is unique to this segment for a package that is certainly more sophisticated than all the rest.
A vastly improved dual-clutch gearbox is matched to a punchy 1600 turbo motor, giving the Megane GT a drive that can be a lot of fun when given the chance. Matched to a nicely laid out interior with a top class infotainment system, it's a package that delivers refinement, comfort and real style. It may be a more expensive option, but it's certainly the classiest.